Blessings to you and your family, church family. God bless you on this new day. Hope you're looking up because our redemption is drawing nigh. But till that moment, we are going to be warriors for Jesus, doing all that he wants us to do. Amen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Our Bible reading for today is Second Peter, 1 Peter chapter 2. And I chose verse 9 and 10. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, who once were not a people, but are now the people of God, who had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Beloved, I beg you as sojourners and pilgrims, abstain from the lust which wars against the soul. In other words, keep looking up. Our redemption's coming. Don't get caught up in all this world. Garbage. Amen. All right. Our nation to pray for today is South Korea. 48 uh, million people. Evangelical Christians, 8.2. Reverend Cho just passed away a few days ago. The biggest church in the world, 850,000 people, almost a million people. Can you imagine that one? <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> to each has their gift, but he's up in glory right now. All right, I got the prayer requests, prayer maps, missionaries. Let's pray. Father, we bless you on this new day, a Saturday already, the ninth of the month. But we give you praise because though the days are being shortened, that means it's that much sooner that we're, we're going to be in your presence. And in your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord. Oh, to, to be in your presence, Lord, to be in the house of the Lord. Wow, we look forward to that, Lord. Till then, Lord, we're going to continue to pray. We're going to continue to share. We're going to continue to do our job. We lift up Afghanistan before you. We again pray for the people there, Lord, those that are trying to get out, that you would open the doors. Father, watching a little bit of overseas news yesterday, and every one of them said that America looked like idiots in what they did. What a shame. What a shame to see our nation brought down, not just in our nation, but around the world. We pray. We pray over that situation. We lift up South Korea to you, Lord. We pray for this nation. I do lift up Reverend Cho's church there as he is in glory now that the new team will be able to keep a great church like that going. He is the one that started the concept of cell groups, churches all over the place, small churches, on and on, Lord, and many churches in America have taken that concept. We lift up the United States of America. We pray for our nation, Lord. We're still, <laughs> as bad as it is, we are the, the hope of this world, Lord. The American dollar, the American way, Lord. I don't see us Americans banging on doors to get into other nations, Lord. People want to get into this nation. We lift up Israel. I saw that they opened the door for, for jobs for Palestinians to, in Israel, and they were banging thousands and thousands of people trying to get jobs in Israel. Kind of shows you where the good nations are, Lord. So we pray for the United States and Israel. We lift up the world before you, Father. We pray for the nations of the world, Father. North, south, east, and west, each and every one, you love people, you love people, Lord. We lift up our brother Bob and Gail and other missionaries to persecute a church around the world, Lord. We pray for their safety and protection, Lord, as they share the gospel. Use them, Father, to bring your gospel to the four corners of the earth. Where we wouldn't go, they're willing to go. So we support them with our finances and we support them with our prayers, Lord. We lift up the body of CFFC. We pray over the prayer cards that have come in this week, and also the prayer needs that have come in uh, during the week, Lord. Lord, I could name names, but then if I forget somebody, I don't want anybody getting uh, insulted, Lord. So I pray for those that are battling the flu right now, COVID, 
symptoms, Lord, those that are battling different things, Lord. We also pray, Father, for those that are in need, not of healing, but maybe a mate, maybe finances, someone believing for a child, Lord, to be born or, or a child to be restored back to the family. Whatever it might be, Lord, we pray for them. I lift up my brothers and sisters today that are with me, Lord, be it the morning, afternoon, or evening. I pray that you would bless them, Lord. That the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Lord, we are continuing to look up everywhere I read, not Christian stuff, any type of stuff. The word warp speed is spoken all over the place, Lord. People know something is going on, that things are not going to return to the way they were, that America's in a whole lot of hurting, Lord, but we're going to keep praying and keep praying for strength for ourselves, for our nation, for people during this time until we hear the trumpet sound because scripture will be fulfilled. We love you, sir. We honor Jesus in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God is good, church family. Have an awesome Saturday, and we'll see you tomorrow.